Tokazani Bogogo, Tokazani Bumkulu, Tokazani Dizila, to Dr. L here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do subscribe. If you like the video, please do like it. Um, give it a thumbs up and do share it. Today, the topic I will be sharing is about the spirit of Inkanyamba. It is a topic that not many of us speak of and therefore a topic that not many of us understand. What do I mean by that? The spirit of Inkanyamba in its true form, it is a spirit that doesn't appear to just about anyone, be it you're a healer or not. It is a spirit that is of masculine energy, a spirit that is very heavy in its origin, and a spirit that chooses the one that it is going to partner or link with. And many a times a spirit that comes to you once you have purified or restored your bloodline or your lineage, once you have fixed certain things which needed or certain errors which needed to be corrected in your bloodline and your lineage. That is when you are going to now um, um, experience your connection with the Inkanyamba spirit. That is if you are chosen because some people may be chosen and yet not properly or fully connect with that spirit. Now, some of the, th the signs that a person has been bestowed with the spirit of Inkanyamba, as you will find that that is now in a context of you as a spiritualist, you find that umsindo, uh, like mudumo, rasi, noise, you don't like. Because they like quiet areas, even during times where they observe prayers, they go on a quiet moment. Their energy is quite potent and you are able to tell that here you are in an energy that is authoritative. They are pure of spirit, meaning it will be unlikely for a spiritualist, a healer, to say that they connect with the spirit of Inkanyamba, yet they are in a habit of slaughtering, yet they are in a habit of igazi. Because the spirit, the pure spirit of Inkanyamba doesn't go along nikas. You find that you find other spiritualists or healers going to the river for cleansing purposes or for, to observe certain rituals and they slaughter, they shed blood in the river. It means that they don't connect with the proper energy of Inkanyamba because if they did connect with the proper energy of Inkanyamba, they would respect the purity that the Inkanyamba spirit is by not slaughtering in the waters and therefore in purifying the energies. Because the blood, when you shed it within the river bodies, within the water being, it translates itself into something else. That gets fed into these spiritual, holy, sacred beings and you dirty their aura. Similar to when, you, when you're looking at, at Nama, at meat here on earth. That meat later on, you leave it there, it draws, it turns into worms. Blood, when you slaughter in the river, when you feed <clears throat> energies with blood in the river to some spirits, it translates or it acts as a drug. And therefore, each time you slaughter at the river, you act as a drug dealer that feeds these certain spirits with this drug that will in turn come back, give you money and say, please come and slaughter again. Please come and feed me with that drug again. That is the purpose of why some of these spirits will ask you to slaughter by the river. Because it acts like something that they feed off, like a drug. They do not operate without it. Hence, they will continuously come back and give you more money so that you come back and slaughter for them. However, 
when you properly, truly working with that sacred energy of Inkanyamba. Inkanyamba does not slaughter. When you have Impande, when you have a shrine, when Utwasis on Namatwasana, when you have initiates as a master, as a magical master, working with that spirit and slaughtering go, don't go hand in hand. Hence, you find that the healers who work with that spirit will be prohibited or will not be trainers, will not have spiritual children because when you do that, you'll be required to slaughter. They are of pure spirit like that. You find that a person who maybe need to have an offering by the river body or by the water being, by the water body. They ask you to have a sacred animal of some sort. They ask you to have a certain cow, a certain goat, a ram, most, mo most usually a ram. That ram, you do not slaughter it. You go and you leave it by that water body where they had requested you to go and leave it. And they will see to it. They will take it as required. You don't even need to know where it goes, what happens to it. What you need to know and observe is that you do not slaughter it. You, don't, you do not shed blood. That is how sacred the spirit is. And you find other people saying, The moment they say, And you see them holding blood and shedding blood, you must know that the spirit they are speaking of is not the true spirit, the sacred one. The one that is the unseen, that is the unseen spirit, the one that chooses their own. The one that does not even appear to their own chosen ones unless their own chosen ones are ready or prepared in a certain way. A rare spirit that is able to conquer a rare spirit that is able to understand. A rare spirit that was there in the beginning, that has seen it all, that understands the power of secrecy, that understands the power of purity, that honors bloodlines, that honors restoration. Hence, it does not honor an impande, a healer, or a practitioner who sheds blood. Hence, some of them, they will even be required to be vegetarians. They would even be required to go easy on meat, be vegans, be vegetarians. Or some of them will be required to not be eating meat for certain occasions or a certain period of time from time to time. Cleanliness is part of it. Those are just some of the few things that I have been given as knowledge of who the truest in Kanyamba spirit is. And as a result, whilst we still here, I will ask the healers to say, those who go and shed blood by the river, please do remember to honor the truest spirit as well. Perhaps there are certain rituals that we would observe to say the reasons why you are slaughtering and so forth and so forth. For the truest spirit honors that purity that water is. For it gives life and therefore we are not to dirty it. For it gives us life, it reboots us. Togozani. <laughs>